Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm here with another giant pile of books. Here we go. Um, I went to the library a few days ago and I wasn't planning on getting a whole nother set of book talk books, but here we are. I just went in and I was like, oh yeah, there's that one book I want to read and then, oh, there's another one and I own the one at home, so here we are. I got five new books. Um, if you haven't seen part one and part two of me rating um, book talk books that I've seen like all over the internet plus on the Barnes and Noble reading list, make sure to check those out. I've read a lot of book talk books by now, so I've been starting to get into, you know, kind of what I trust from them and I'm finding that I don't really trust the young adult books or either that or I just don't like those books anymore. So. Here we are. The first book I have is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. So actually, I should give you a little preface. So I actually already read the first two books um, and I'm going to be traveling tomorrow and I was going to do all of my reviews at once before I realized that I don't have enough time to finish reading them. So I read the first two, I'm going to review those two and then hopefully I will bring the last three on my trip with me. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet, so I guess you guys will find out. But first book is What If It's Us, then we have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I already started this one also. Then we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, I already started this book like a few years ago and I loved it, but my reading time ran out of it. I had it as an ebook and it ran out and I never actually got to pick it up again, but I found it. So here we are. And then the last book is Why We Sleep um, by Matthew Walker. So I find it very interesting now that I'm incorporating some nonfiction. Um, sleep is a very cool topic and I think it's important to learn about just so that you're taking care of your body by getting enough sleep. I just read off their titles in the order that I'm going to be reading them. So I guess it's time for the first review. So the first book is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera and this book was interesting so it was it was cute. It's about two guys who meet at a post office in New York Basically, one of them's on an internship, one of them's in summer school, and it's basically just their, like, it's their love story. So, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this, but I'm going to be honest, and I'm sorry if you really like this book. It was, it was definitely a cute storyline, but it really wasn't my thing. So I have to give this a two-star rating. I'm really sorry if you like this book, but I don't know. It was kind of... It was almost childish, not like in a bad way, but it was just kind of, it's definitely not my genre, I guess. I'm not super big into romance, so I think that's um, going to be a little interesting with some of these next books, but What If It's Us was definitely not my favorite. Next, we'll move on to A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, which I actually really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I've heard a few mixed reviews about it, but I think mostly people enjoy this. Um, it's about, like, fairies. It's a fairy versus humans. Not, like, versus, but um, seeing the c contrast between fairies and humans. And I had only read one other book um, with, like, the whole fairy ideas. I read The Cruel Prince by Holly Black in one of my other book talk book reading videos. Um, and that one I didn't like at all. I apologize again, but it just wasn't my thing. But this one was a lot more of like action and the main character seems pretty strong. Like she's, although she's doing what she's doing for love, she is, um, she's like holding her own and caring for her family and everything. So I, I really liked this book. It was, um, a lot more of my genre. I do like more action adventure kind of stuff and this was definitely fit into that a lot better. So I'm going to give this probably a four star rating. It was very descriptive. Like I opened the book after reading What If It's Us and I was like, whoa, 
There are a lot of words here. They're big words, but I like it. So this one I definitely liked a lot better. I'm going to stick with a four star rating, I believe. So I got a few pages into Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I don't know how I'm supposed to bring these books with me on my trip. So I'll definitely bring the one that I own, and I guess I'll let you know how it works out. Maybe I'll have to get these books out of the library where we're going. I'm not quite sure. So I guess I'll see you guys once I've figured out how I'm going to do this. Okay, it is time for me to review the last three books. I'm in Indiana right now, as you can see, and I just want to make it easier for my family um, by not, you know, filming inside or just whatever, making them be quiet. So here are the last three books. Let me just start off with Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So this book was pretty good, but I'm just not really into romances, I've found out. Especially with the other romance that I read, I just didn't really like it that much. Um, this one was definitely better. I did enjoy the like, the royal and like president kind of factor in it. That was kind of interesting, but um, I just found out that I'm not really into romance that much. I'm gonna give this book probably like a three star rating because it, it was definitely interesting, it was pretty well written, but it's just not really my thing. So three stars for this book. Next I read All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, if that's how you say it, I don't know. But um, this book was like about World War II, and it's very interesting because a lot of the World War II books that you read are kind of more just like only about the Holocaust and this one was about like how kids experienced it and there were like two to three different storylines that are being told and they only intersect way at the end so I found that kind of interesting how you're reading like two different stories until like really near the end um in the beginning I was kind of wondering like what the plot was going to be about and even up to like halfway through there wasn't much of a story developing um, but then you kind of find out that that is the story, and they um, intersect later, and I appreciate that they intersect. But um, this book didn't really hold my attention super much. I remember really liking the beginning of it the first time I started it, but um, I never really got very far into it. And it was just kind of long. I feel like what was said could have been said quicker, although it was very well written. So I'm going to give this like a three and a half star rating. Maybe I can give it a four star because I definitely like it more than like Red, White, and Royal Blue. I didn't quite finish this one. Um, I'm just running out of time with these books. I have to send them back with my brother because um, he's flying home and these are library books. So they've got to go back home. Uh, but this is Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. Uh, and I did find this book very interesting. There was a lot of cool information about sleep, and um, I'm going to try to finish this one eventually. I just don't know exactly when I'm going to be able to finish it. So I want to give this one a four star rating. I feel like sleep could be a very boring topic to talk about, but this book has a lot of super interesting facts and it's written in kind of an interesting way to read. You know, it's definitely not a drag to read. So I'm going to finish this book and I think I'm going to enjoy the rest of it also. So I'm going to give this one a four star rating. So my camera is dying. I'm going to change out the battery and then I will be back to kind of give a little recap and rank the books that I read. I've ranked them on my phone. Let me just get up the document. So number five is going to be What If It's Us. Um, that was the first book I read, I believe, and I just didn't really like it very much. It was kind of like, I don't want to be mean, but it was kind of dry, to be honest. I'm just not really into romance and it was pretty childish so that's gonna be number five then number four is gonna be red white and royal blue this wasn't necessarily a bad book it just really wasn't my thing so that'll be number four number three is all the light we cannot see um, I liked this book it was interesting but again it just didn't really hold my attention I'm into more of like action stuff like this one was just more of like regular life I would prefer to see deeper into like either side of the Holocaust instead of like, I don't know, I feel like the kids don't have a super deep view into what went on. Um, number two is Why We Sleep. I feel like I can't just rate this one because I haven't fully read it, so at the end this might change. Maybe this is my favorite book, but um, 
I feel like it's a solid rating because it was a definitely interesting book, but it just... I didn't quite like it as much as number one. So number one is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, this book actually very pleasantly surprised me. I didn't think that it was going to be as interesting as it was. After I read The Cruel Prince, I didn't really think I was going to like more of the fairy stuff, but I really ended up liking this book, so I think I'm going to read the next ones in the series. So maybe those will be in one of my next videos. Um, let me know what other books you want me to read, like what other book talk books you want me to read or whatever um today i think i'll be going to barnes and noble not to buy books just to look around and get just to look around and get some inspiration so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to follow me on all social media at rosier volts and check out my etsy shop also at rosier volts and my book at cutoutdoorsbook.com and i'll see you guys later bye